All right, in this video, me and Austin Dunham are going to show you our top five favorite body weight exercises. Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter, and I am here with a very special guest, my man, Austin Dunham. Say what up, man. What's up, guys? Austin Dunham back again. Uh, what's going on? As you can see, Austin in the back, he has his uh, his plaque, man. Show him that plaque, bro. Right there on the wall. Yeah, man, right. yeah. You know, when he got over 100,000 uh, subscribers, now he has uh, 250,000 YouTube subscribers, so make sure y'all subscribe to his page if you haven't already. We want to talk to y'all about our top five favorite body weight exercises. Austin also has uh, a free ebook you can download. You know, I'll put it in the description. Um, uh, five body weight secrets. Well, before we get into our, our, our top five exercises, can you tell them more about body weight secrets? Yeah, so these are things that I wish I knew before I started and whether or not you're a beginner, intermediate, or even an advanced athlete, um, knowing these five things would definitely help you progress faster in your training and kind of get a kickstart um, in your training. So that's what I created the free book and I feel like everybody should get it if you're wanting to learn more about cosmetics and or just started. Yeah, and it's free, man. So y'all should download that. I mean, I started with uh, with, a body, with uh, body weight training and calisthenics. I use weights too, obviously. Uh, you use both? You use both? Uh, so for me, my training is composed of 97% calisthenics. I like to throw out that percentage. Mm. And uh, I say that because I've started using weights like uh, five months ago to focus on my weak parts. So I had a weak upper chest and um, like my shoulder area. But other than that, uh, it's just body weight training, doing weighted calisthenics and just different variations of body weight training. That's what the core of my program is focused on. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man. And like, uh I still do that. I'm, I'm mixing both. Like a lot of times, people ask me, "What do you think is the best?" I'm like, "Yo, you don't have to pick." All right, so yo, Austin, what are your top five favorite body weight exercises? All right, so my top five list um, it has changed over the years as I've gotten stronger with body weight ex exercise. So it's not going to be like just the basic exercises. The top five that I pick are kind of advanced or intermediate exercises, right? Mine are all pretty advanced too. So <laughs> let's go back and forth. Uh, like you do one and I'll do one and just keep going like that. What's, what's your first one? So my first one that I love doing, like no questions asked, is the 90 degree handstand push-up. Yeah, so the 90 degree handstand push-up, I like doing it on parallettes, but you're basically going into a freestanding handstand and then you come down to where your body is horizontal and your hands are beside your waist and then you're going to press yourself back up into a handstand. So the motion looks like this right here. Mm. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy, man. I can't do that. Yeah. That's, I need to download the, the body weight secrets, man. Will it teach me how to progress to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, the secrets, I, I get more information on how you can um, implement progressive overload training with body weight training so that one day you can progress to these advanced body weight movements. So, and the nine degree handstand push up is like, uh, it almost looks unreal. Like when I do it in the gym, like people are going to stop in the tracks and break their necks. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, guys, <laughs> like, you, the gym, you say, like, you go over to her and like start busting out. I mean, you really have things up. Exactly. <laughs> and how do the girls respond when you when they see you in the gym doing uh, busting out a 90 degree hand stamp? Oh, uh, I got a funny story about that. So, I was in the gym vlogging, I was doing 90 degree hand stamp push ups, and this girl actually stopped took a picture of me or a video, I'm not sure which one, but I didn't notice that until I went back and looked at the video and I see this girl in the background, like she paused and then she got her phone out and started like um, video recording me. So did you post that on YouTube? Yeah, I put it on YouTube too. And I was like, yeah. me that link. Me that link. <laughs> also, I was doing it um, in public when I was downtown in Austin, Texas on ninth street. I've been to Austin before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But yeah, and um, I had people taking pictures and stuff like that too. So the girls love it, dude. Girls love yeah. it. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> One of my favorite is actually, um, it's, it's similar but different. I like to like, go from L sit to handstand and just do that for reps. So I normally, uh, you know, I can use parallettes or dip bars, 
Uh, but normally I'll just take like some weights, like some 50 pound dumbbells or something and do an L sit on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold that and then go up into handstand and then come back in the L sit and just do that for, for reps. That's, that's one of my favorite. It really, I can't think of a better like ab, extra ab or like for the core, man, it works it so much, man. And then just all the other muscles. One of the reasons I think body weight training is so helpful. You, you have no time about gymnasts, they're so ripped, like uh, male gymnasts. My, my hypothesis is, is one, they train a lot, but, and you know, uh, they're pro athletes. But also, I think the, all those muscles, those stabilizer muscles that you don't normally work, they just get so defined and just has a really aesthetic look, I believe. Exactly. I agree with that. Yep. Damn, man. I don't have no pictures of the hot girls. I don't have no footage of the hot girls, you know, uh, stalking me when I do it. Uh, <laughs> but there, there, there is a response in, in the gym. And I'm not doing it to show off. It really is an exercise. Uh, but I'm also doing it to show off. Uh, what's, your next, <laughs> what's your next one? So my next one, uh, I guess, seems like another show off move. But once again, I'm just working out. It's called planche push-ups. Mm. No legs push-up, right? Okay. So the planche push-up, uh, you're going to be leaning in as far as as you can and then you press yourself up so you're just doing a push-up just but your legs are off the ground so it looks like you're almost levitating jesus yeah no that, that's that's a move i always wanted to get i can't do it how much do you weigh bro i'm 170. yeah uh, man i uh, man, i couldn't do it when i was 170 so that's no excuse right like i'm, <laughs> I'm like 200 now uh so what I, that brings me to my my i like actually the tuck planche push-ups Okay, yeah. I do that. Yeah, it's really from, so I, it's, it's, it's just like the planche, except you have, I have my knees tucked kind of in my chest, and I do, uh, it's almost like dips, like tuck planche dips mm -hmm. uh, or push-ups, whatever. I do it like that. Um, and it, but, but is that a, that's a progression to the regular planche anyway, right? Yeah, the tuck planche push-up is actually a progression to get towards the um, the full planche push-up. So I used to be doing those too, and they're still, to this day, a really, a really good exercise, so. Yeah, I, I like them just standalone, even if you're not trying to get a planche. I just think it's good because it's the, it, it really works that front delt. I don't do any, like, isolation on my front delt, but my front delt is, like, still strong, you know, and uh, your, your triceps, chest, and your just whole core having to stay stable like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so that's my, my second one. Let's get third one. Third one is a pretty popular one. A lot of people love it. A lot of people want to do it. And it's the almighty must love. Mmm. I love doing pushing exercise, but I want to throw in um, pulling one. And the great thing about the muscle up is it combines two movements. So it's an explosive pulling movement and also a pushing because at the top you're doing a front dip. So yeah. kill two birds with one stone. That's why the muscle up is the bread and butter, you know? I can't think of a better upper body exercise. Mm -hmm. It's like the only full body upper body exercise that I, not full body, but total upper body exercise. Yeah. It works to all the pull muscles and all the push muscles. It's almost like It'd be the equivalent of a upper body squat, right? Like it works everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you ever you ever do variations? That you do three hundred and sixty uh, muscle ups. You do uh, jumping over the bar and stuff. You know all them tricks. And yeah, people ask me why I don't do that, but I have this like I call myself a bodyweight bodybuilder because I have mm -hmm. this body a bodybuilder mindset, but I just train with bodyweight training. So I don't. I've really never gotten into like the whole tricking stuff and all. I just yeah. keep, keep the simple reps and sets. I add weight to my muscle ups. I like doing weighted muscle ups, mm. um, stuff like that. But I don't do all the crazy like 360 and stuff. I, I feel yeah, like you know what? Cause that yeah. stuff is more like that dynamic stuff. It's really like tricks. It's not. It's not really to actually like build muscle or, or, or to build strength. I mean, it takes strength, exactly. but it builds. I've done a 360 muscle up. Uh, I probably did it like three times in my life. <laughs> the first time I did it, I was in Santa Monica, and one of my boys he showed me how to do it. And I did it, and I like ripped a callus off my hand. Uh, so there's that. So fuck that. I was like, yeah, fuck that. All right. My number three is um is another variation of handstand because it's my favorite, but clapping handstand push-ups. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see you um been doing that on your snap and all that stuff. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. So like you basically you're doing a handstand push-up and then you go down, jump and clap. And it's 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 not just like just to do it, you know, um that explosiveness is kind of like apply plyometrics. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's basically upper body plyometrics, and but it also takes so much balance and coordination. The balance you use those stabilizer mu muscles we talked about again. You, I mean, you have to be really balanced to get there. Uh, again, guys, these are advanced. That's why you got to uh, download body weight five five body weight secrets to really like learn how to work your way up to this stuff. But we're just talking about our favorite. You know, uh, but yeah, clapping hands and push ups. Now you want to, you want to, you want to look here. You want to 
stop the show. <laughs> like that that's one that that that, that I do it too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, Can you do it yet? I I tried um clapping handstand push ups, but recently uh I've also tried it's crazy, my first exercise but doing clapping, so a nine degree handstand push up and you come up clapped and back to nine degree. Yo, you got footage of that? Huh? You got footage of yeah, you? I do. Yeah. I'm gonna see it. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> but like I mean, every time I pick up you show you you show me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's dope. All right, what, what's your next one if it's not ninety degree clapping yeah. handstand? No, that's not. So my next one is another pulling uh, movement, and I feel like this really helped my back. So it's it's pull ups, but it's weighted weighted pull ups. Mm. So I feel like um, weighted pull ups have really helped me like build that like tree trunk back because I feel like it's one of the best parts on my body at least. Mm. Uh, weighted pull ups for sure have um, helped me with that. So pull up pull up is one of the best man. It's just one of the best uh, back exercises you can do. Uh, and if you add weight to them, then it's, it takes it to it to the yeah. next level. Uh, my next one is uh, is, a, is another push. Is another push. I, I just like handstands. It's very handstand. It's called the tiger bend. You go in the handstand, and then I kind of like shoot myself forward. Uh, I come down, shoot myself forward, and come on my elbow, then come back up, then push up. It's a real dynamic move. It takes a lot of balance and skill. And, uh, it's just, it's so there, you work muscles that you don't even didn't even know you had when you do that. Yeah. yeah. And that, you actually have me beat on because that's something I haven't even tried yet. So I might have to go try that now. You got, you got to get the tiger. Uh, bit. I, I find it easier on bars actually. It's easy to stay balanced, like on bars. But uh, you can get it on the floor. If you get it on the floor, you, you can do it on bars. Do you, uh, quick question: You think handstands are easier on bars or on the floor? Um, it's corner where you learn it at. But for me, I would probably say the floor um, at first. But then when I transferred over to the bars, I was like, this is hard. Like because I'm not. Mm. But then when I got used to it, I find it easier on bars now. So I think bars are so much easier because it's it, you can use your you can you get that grip to stay balanced, you know. Yeah, and a lot of people don't have that uh, wrist flexibility um, when it comes to hands on the ground. Right. So bars could definitely be used when it comes to that. You know, one of our athletes here, brother, is uh, Bella. You know, she's she's training with me all the time. She can she can do handstands like really well, but she can't do it in, on bars at all. So I guess it just depends. But she's really good at handstands. She does all sorts of stuff like. Yeah. Like you know, wild stuff with her legs and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. All right, what's in the, what's the next? What's the last one? And, and the final, the final of your favorite body the final one. I feel like it's not even that cool anymore because you like stayed all these cool hands and stuff. But I was just gonna say the freestanding handstand push up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I actually I can throw another variation. So the freestanding handstand push up on the bars. So like a deep freestanding. Oh, handstand. that's. Yeah. You, you get like real that range of motion, man. Mm -hmm. like yeah. I have some bars here where I can I can do that on, or uh, like you know little uh, push-up bars or parallettes, mm -hmm. and you can do it on those. Yeah, that that's a really good exercise, man. Yeah, so, um, really good for the stretch. Obviously, you know, that deep range of motion can be just the normal free hand, um, free standing handstand, and then yeah, it's like one of my favorite short exercises. Mm -hmm. And one of my one of my favorite actually, man. Now this is this is this is not as crazy, but dragon flags. Okay, dragon flags. Yeah, yeah dragon flags. Like uh, I, I saw Rocky Four when I was a kid, and uh, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone was doing that on the uh, when he was training to fight the Russian dude. He was doing that. Like yo, that's me, and I always wanted to do it. And now I, I can do it. Like dragon flags is, is uh, basically you hold yourself. You you got to hold yourself stable on something, whether it's a bench. Or you're on the floor, or you can hold whatever's behind you, and you put your instead of just a leg lift, you lift your whole torso up, right? Instead of just like leg lifts where you lift from your hips, you lift like you lift your whole back on and then bring it back down and then back up. That's probably that's what that's that's one of my favorite ab exercises, man. Yeah, exactly. like you got to keep all the weight in your upper back. Dragon, yeah, yeah. Down. Like it's, a, it's really good for the whole entire core, so not just your abs, like your lower back to everything. So. I love the dragon fly too. It's, it's really Can you? Nice, so. What What else do you think? Just throw another one in for abs, just just for good. Fucking for abs, um, yeah. I would say um, either L sits, hanging L sits on the bar, or leg raises. That's yeah. like go to like weighted leg raises. I love doing and L sits. You like le weighted leg raises? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I don't like weighted leg raises, man. I um, I don't know what it is. I I, just, I really yeah. don't. You know, because I like to lift my legs like way up, like above That's my head. Good. And yeah. I feel like I'll fucking drop a weight on my face. I use a medicine ball. I've been using mm -hmm. so, so it just bounce off. Mm -hmm. 
No, so he did. So, uh, dragonflies, elsets, and leg raises are like my top three when it comes to. Uh, I like dragonflies, uh, leg raises, and uh, the ab wheel. Ab wheel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, oh, you know what? You can do ab wheel. I like. You can do it on your knees or standing. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I'm standing. Can you do them standing? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can. I feel like I can. I, I feel like. It. Yeah. Yeah, standing at standing at wheels. Or um, you know, like I, I call them Superman push-ups. I think they're called something else. Where you just like kind of like you're just laying down like this, and then you yeah, and you kind of walk around and come down. It's the same muscles. But was our it also works this muscle right here, the serratus, mm-hmm. right? People look at it yeah, and they exactly. think it's my ribs, but it's the really serratus exactly. muscles. Um, because it's the same. It's like it's almost like a dumbbell pullover, which really works that you know. But it said you're using body weight. It's like the same uh, movement. Damn, we're exactly. we doing some extra, man. It's like nine exercises. We went past five, but you know, the more the better, right? Yeah, man, we just, listen, I'm still going to say five in the video because people like that number, but I want to, uh, you know, uh, we, we over deliver. Just like you over delivered in the five key body weight. What's it called? What's it called again? Five things you need to know before starting calisthenics. Yeah, man, yo, download that book, guys. Because honestly, man, when I first started, there wasn't like a lot of information about it. It was just, you kind of had to figure it on your own, right? I'm sure it was like that for you. Yeah, it's a lot of self-teaching and trial and error. And that's why I cut out that learning curve for a lot of people. And that's why I made the um, free ebook so that you can get, you know, a head start. You're trying to get start like today, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so what they, they download it and then it gets emailed to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, download it. Um, it'll get sent immediately to your email once you put in your information. Yo, sounds good, man. Yo, well, listen, man, make sure y'all subscribe to uh, uh, Austin's channel, man. And uh, make sure y'all download the free ebook. And uh, man, you know, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel and uh, check out my vlog channel. I have a daily vlog channel. Not all y'all went there, subscribe yet, but it's lit. That Austin, you watch my daily vlog channel, right? I watched the victory vlog. I'm on it, man. You heard the victory vlog. So anyway, make sure y'all uh, mess with that too. And uh, well, I'll let y'all. Hope that was helpful, guys. Peace. Okay.